Hello everyone. In this session, we will see how to calculate depreciation for existing assets. So, what is meant by existing assets? To understand this, let us assume current year is FI19. That is, we are in the year of FI19. Assuming current month is September and we are doing budget for FY20. There might be some assets which are added in the current year in actual scenario or there are any assets already in the organization. Those are called existing assets. I have taken three sample line items here. For computer hardware, laptops purchased in January 2019 Laptop purchased in March 2019 and machinery purchased in year 2014. A laptop purchased in the month of January in 2019 worth of $1200. For our calculation purpose, I am assuming the laptop useful life is 12 months. That means Depreciation for this particular line item will be calculated till December 2019 only. There won't be any depreciation in year 2020 for this particular line item because entire amount will be depreciated in 2019 itself. If we take the other line item which is uh, laptops, computer hardware, Useful life is again 12 months, whereas this is introduced in March. That means it will calculate depreciation for 10 months in year 2019 and there will be depreciation for this line item in 2020 for 2 months, that is January and Feb. So which is nothing but $300. 3600 is the purchase price, 12 months is the useful life, then 300 is the depreciation. There will not be any depreciation in the month of March for this line item in year 2020. If you take machinery, the useful life of this machinery is 72 months, that is 6 years. The machinery lifetime will be 71 months by the end of December 2019. So that means there will be still one month remaining for this particular line item machinery. In January, the depreciation amount will be calculated as purchase price divided by useful life. So that is $333. And in Feb, there is no depreciation because 72 months is completed by January 2020. Let's log into the system and see the forms and the calculation. In next session, we will see how to achieve this using the formula or business rule. I have created two forms. One form is to copy existing asset details. You are seeing copy existing asset details. As we know, existing asset details always available in actual scenario for current month. So I have defined a substitution variable and asset class in the rows, asset details in the rows, service date and purchase price in the columns, budget, beginning balance, service date and current version is draft version, budget year is FI20. At the moment, there are no existing asset details related in budget scenario. I have written a business rule to copy the actual asset details into budget details. Right click on any row and see copy existing assets. So I am able to see copy existing assets means you know that it's a menu item. Let's run this business rule. If you want to copy asset details for all entities at a time, then we don't need to add runtime prompt for entity. 
click launch business rule is run successfully now you see that all asset details from actual scenario copied into the budget scenario let's go back to another form i have created another form called existing assets depreciation at the moment there is no depreciation calculated when i save this form then the business rule behind this form will be executed and now you see that existing computer hardware laptop fa1230 depreciation is calculated for 2 months only as discussed earlier depreciation is calculated for only 1 month for machinery related line of item for machinery related assets let me show you a small change let us test this form little bit further to make sure our business rule is working i want to change the existing equipment and machinery useful life to be 73 months let me go back to the existing asset depreciation form and save this form before running this business rule let us guess what will happen because we have increased the useful life to 73 months we should be getting the depreciation in feb also for equipment and machinery let's save this and now you see that depreciation is calculated in the month of feb and its value is also changed why because if i change useful life to 73 now the depreciation is calculated as 328 dollars this is how we can copy existing assets details into budget scenario and calculate the depreciation for existing assets the key point here is service date and purchase price should be available in actual scenario in every month for those asset detail and asset classes in next session we will see the business rule behind this thank you for watching we'll see you in next session